The Amazing Wonder Birds are sponsored by Wines With Stories. Hello, Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh, Happy I know. Wednesday. Do, do you know what? I am still in Brown's special traditional tea mode after oh, having this amazing explain. experience. Yeah, I have to tell you girls, this is really exciting. Well, I put on a ball every year at Pinewood and for Great Ormond Street, fundraiser for Great Ormond Street. And a, a lovely couple at the auction bought Debbie Arnold and Bob Barrett. They actually <laughs> bought them, they bid for them and bought them. Oh and it was God. a yes. I know, shock horror. How much was that and then? Was that one and six or what? what? <laughs> it was about 2p, yeah. 2p, anyway, okay, Yeah, yeah, 2p. <laughs> um, and it was also a lovely, lovely traditional tea at Brown's, you know, in Mayfair? Because they yeah. gave us as a present for, for Great Ormond Street, they gave us this special tea. So mm. I went along as well. And it was so fabulous, wasn't it, Debbie? It was so yeah. good. And being with uh, being with lovely Bob in real life was so lovely. And he yeah. was very nervous about Holby and how sad he was about it. And yeah. was he? Yeah. 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 But I know more, so more many sad, people. Yeah, more sad about everyone losing their jobs than about yes, himself. Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And and it was it was and he is divine. I mean, how he is with the members of the public is really lovely. Everybody recognised him. The yes. the, uh, the waitress when he walks in went Sasha. Yeah, <laughs> how are you? So they, they just all call him Sasha. Oh, it's just he is he's just a beautiful guy. And he did say, and he's coming to the Wonderbird show, of course, with his wife. He's gonna yeah. be there. He yeah, is on just, the 28th of June. He just said, I love being a wonder bloke. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. He's a lovely man. Absolutely he's, lovely. Oh, but that was beautiful. He's divine. He's also, I don't know if you girls know, he's about six foot four and a half. He's very, very, big. very big man. So yeah. you, have, yes. you have managed to snuggle him in real, and he is a snuggler. So uh, he is a hopefully snuggler. we'll be able to snuggle him. Oh, yes. He oh, is gosh, gorgeous. Yeah, I know. So we have, actually, Sherry, we've got somebody coming back very quickly, yes. actually. Uh, well, funny, actually, we've got two guests today. Um, so we've got Jeffrey Holland and Judy Buxton, and they're married. That's oh, a strange thing, isn't it? And they're actors. That's even stranger. <laughs> So no, yeah. Jeff's coming back. He's an old mucker of mine, and Judy Buxton's his wife, and the two of the loveliest people, and they're coming to be with us today. Yay! Yay! Where are you? There they are. Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. to our nest. Welcome, both of you. Thank you me. look very happy for an old married couple. I have to say, <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are. are. Because how long have you been married? I can't remember. How long have we been married? Seventeen yeah. years 17, this year. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Jeff, that takes you and I back a bit, doesn't it? Then. For twenty-six. Married for seventeen. Yeah. Wow, wow, we go back a long way, don't we, darling? You do, my love. So I'm going to talk to your wife anyway, not you. So, okay. Judy, <laughs> you and I um, worked at Pinewood Studios, and you worked on Tom Jones' film, which was Trevor Howard. That's and good. I was in the next studio doing The Slipper in the Road with Richard Chamberlain, Slipper in the Road with Richard Chamberlain. And I remember your set really well, and we used to come and peek in it and have a look in it, and then we shoved off by the by the you know the security but how do you remember that well that time i think it was 76 yes it would have been it would have been yeah. 76 i don't remember it that well i only had a day on it you know I did think you I, but you remember being in pinewood i do remember and i do remember being in bed with trevor howard <laughs> <laughs> and nicky <Nikki> henson <laughs> <laughs> oh i was a busy day darling that's a very I, busy day <laughs> I was a <laughs> maid, a little maid, um, with the little ringlets and everything, and uh, somehow landed in bed with these two guys. Not <laughs> and I remember Cliff Owen was the director. Yes. And he said um, that they were going to shoot two versions of it. And one would... <laughs> <laughs> I would have to expose my breasts. And I thought, oh God, you know, I didn't know about this. And I thought, he said, yes, we're doing the Japanese version. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing an 
English version. <laughs> so I thought, well, Nikki Henson was so, so oh, Nikki. Yeah. Was just divine. And he was absolutely insistent that, you know, like there was a dressing gown there. Yes. And the clothes were there and everything. Well, needless mm. to say, when the actual film was shown, it was the Nothing. Japanese version. <laughs> 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 really it was a very bawdy film though wasn't it was very it? bawdy for its time yes i remember it very yeah. sexy mm. we weren't in the slipper and the rose that was period we were very slow right. faced with what you were doing but also i know you did on the up with lovely joan sims yes, yes. who well, was gorgeous wasn't she she was fantastic she was so <laughs> we had so many laughs when doing that and actually it's a funny story because when um that came about, um, I was asked to go by a girlfriend back to my old drama school, which was Rose Bruford's. Now we're talking 1990 and I'd left in 71 or something. And I didn't really want to go. And she said, oh, come on, Judy, she said, it's a reunion, let's go. And if we don't like it, we can go. So I went along with her. And Gareth Gwenlin was there, um, who was head of the uh, yeah. uh, And I'd worked with Gareth mm, years before then. <clears throat> And he sort of said, oh, you know, nice to see you, Judy, what are you doing? And I was actually doing um, some filming for Lovejoy the following week. Ah. So Ed and, you know, and I said, well, what are you doing here? He said, well, I went to Bruford about 10 years before you. So I said, oh, didn't know that. Never thought any more of it. Monday morning came, this was Sunday. Monday morning came <laughs> and my agent phoned and said, Gareth's sending you five scripts. <gasps> Could you come and see him uh, at the BBC? And of course, it was um, on the up. Dennis. On the up. And I got. How the, wonderful! I just got to get in touch with Dennis and get his approval. <laughs> and <laughs> there we are. We did three series. I wasn't that the one wow. where I told you to say uh, uh, just the one, just the one, Mrs. Wimby. Just the one. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I yeah. loved it. Just loved it. the series. It's really, a question <laughs> of being in the right place at the right time. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, so often happens. Yeah, it is. Darlings, I want to ask you, where and when did you first meet? Cool. Jeff, yeah. no, look, oh, Jeff, Jeff first. first. Oh, me first. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you re you, I don't think he remembers, darling, which is why he <laughs> handed it over to you. But that's why I'm calling him on it. Yeah. Uh, we first met in 1994 when we were doing The Gingerbread Lady with Marty oh. Kane. Marvellous. Oh. Oh. And what was, do you, do you, um, Judy, do you remember that first meeting as well? Well, we were just colleagues and we were just doing the play that our lives were totally different. Um, mm -hmm. I was married, I, I was with somebody for many years. And so, you know, we would, I just thought, what a very nice man. Oh, very, very nice man. <laughs> She's changed her mind. Uh, and, um, now. <laughs> that was the end of that. And then Derek Nimmo asked me, uh, my circumstances changed because my partner died. And oh, so uh, Derek Nimmo asked me to do this. Um, it was Ray Coon is out of order on Far East and Middle East. And I thought, oh, well, that would be lovely. This was a year later. And I thought that would be very nice. And funnily enough, he rang me and he said, can you think of somebody who could play this part in it called Pigden? And uh, I, I said, oh, I'll have a think, Derek. I'll have a think. And I, I remember sitting at home thinking, hmm, Jeff Holland would be good at that. But I never did anything about it. I never ran Derek back. I just thought it in my brain. Get to rehearsals. Who there he is. Isn't that <laughs> so extraordinary? That's extraordinary. So, she sent the vibe. She sent the vibe. Was, you see, she did. Obviously. Absolutely. And I was going to say, was, I was going to say, did you have any heavenly hashtag hellish moments working together? But clearly, yes, you've done everything. Yes. <laughs> we've worked together a lot. We have we've, worked together we've a done, lot. We've done tours of plays. We've done pantomimes mm. together. Mm. You know, oh, how it, wonderful. Lovely. I really enjoy working with Jeff. Yeah, but me too. I mean, it's not us, you know, when we're on no. the you know, it's, and we work very much in the same way. I we think, think we, we think the same way. You know. Oh, that's, that's so lovely. lovely. That's so that's lovely. So to hear. lovely. And are you what are you are you doing anything coming up together again? Well, we're doing a, we're doing a pilot, a projected pilot for a, a new possible sitcom or comedy drama mm. called yeah. Sitcom, which I talked about last time. I think a bit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, Judy's playing Ken's best friend, and I'm playing Ken's mm. dad. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're, we're both in the pile, but not in the same scene no. together. Yes. 
Oh, oh, fabulous. Because also, because Judy, you did um, The Sword Divided with another guest of ours, Tim Benting, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes. Yes. I did um, two series of that. Yes. Uh, and we filmed at Rockingham Castle with the, you know, the Roundheads and the Cavaliers. And uh, it was wow. really fabulous. And uh, in the second series, I was married to Robert Stevens. Oh, oh yes, I knew him. Wow, yes. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. Interesting is a very good word. Yes. We used to go to rehearsals at the old Acton Hilton, you know. Um, yes, yes. And I know where he'd be. In the pub yes. downstairs. Oh. Yeah. Yes. And I think, oh, thank God, Robert's there today. I can rehearse. And then suddenly, when it came to to do the scene, it disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Yes. In that pub. And so I, I never got to see him till the actual recording. No. No. Yes. My first my yes. first job was with Robert Stevens and at, at the Acton Hilton. Him and T P McKenna. Do you remember T P yes. McKenna? Yes. And they spent the whole day in that pub downstairs. <laughs> I don't think we ever saw them. So well, I remember, I remember Bob Stevens telling me he'd given up. I remember Bob Stevens saying that he'd given up drinking um, with a bottle of champagne in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's not drinking. Gin is drinking. Well, exactly. I, I was on location with him at one point. He'd asked me out for dinner, and all the makeup <gasps> girls said to me, "Oh, Judy, oh, are you going to be all right?" You know. And I was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And I went out to dinner with him, but it was it was hilarious. But before that, we'd finished our, our scene and we had some tea in the hotel and he said, I brought your present. I said, oh, Robert, how lovely. <laughs> and he presented me with this little pack, three pack of knickers. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, me? Oh my goodness. Why? Very <laughs> kind. And I said, but they're nine to 12 year olds. <laughs> Oh, but you're very slim. You'll get into them. <laughs> oh, oh, very strange. Oh, very odd. Very odd. Oh. Now, now, Judy, we have been talking. We've briefly touched on it about you and Jeff going on the Nimmo tour. But we have done. We've done Nimmo. We've been Nimmo. We were Nimmo. Definitely. And it, it was honestly, they're the most. They're wonder you guys fell in love on this because it's the most romantic tours to have done, aren't they? I mean, you and I fell in love on the Nimmo. We did. We did. <laughs> yeah, they were both were looking the Cupid fired a little arrow and there we were. That's either. right. And I remember, this is a very, I remember this so well. Um, we were doing Blast of the Red Hot Lover, mm. which is uh, three different acts with three different women, one, one guy. And I was on first, so my mm. act, and I used to go back to my bedroom. because it, it was done in the ballrooms of, of five-star hotels. Went back to my bedroom. Debbie would do her act and then she'd come and join me and we'd have a little drink and then the, the company manager would then ring us to go down to take our curtain call um, while darling Joe Tewson was doing her act. Anyway, we were wearing very scantily clothes. And this was in, this was in Egypt? This, yeah, it was in Egypt. Wow. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was Muscat, I can't remember. And you had to go through the kitchens to get backstage. I was wearing a black slinky dress. Uh, Debbie was wearing a busk, a white busk very low cut and tight jeans. And uh, so we, we made our way down to, to take our curtain call and we were stopped by the security guard. <laughs> and they thought we were a couple of hookers. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to rush back to the bedroom to get the program and say, no, no, look, it's us, it's us. <laughs> oh, it was, we only just made it by the skin of our teeth. Do you remember? They, they wanted Funny. to arrest her. They wanted to they arrest wanted her. They wanted to arrest her. They, they said, how did you get here? And we said, oh, we're in the show. And they went, no, you're not. And we were going, but we are. And we've got to get on stage. <laughs> it was wonderful. But That's I, an amazing really story. It's the this is Judy, Judy used to wear this little piece on her head and it used to have a life of its own. Sometimes it would go flying, she used to take it on and off and it always used to be in her bag. So she was she was always nicknamed Poodle and the Poodle right. was very important in our relationship. And of course she nicknamed, she nicknamed me Noodle because that's all I ever ate. Yes. <laughs> it, the, the thing is it's got mange now and it's very old. Should be put down. Should be down. But I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
it's got that story you see behind oh, it, so it's worth keeping. It really has. <laughs> we, we, had, we had such fun going all over the world with that tour. I mean, it was just, the, the, the Nimmo tours for our for our audience where Derek Nimmo started these tours and we were very mm. lucky enough to do quite a few of them. And we used to go all over the world, first class accommodation and, and first class flights, but the flights <clears> were interesting. <throat> I was telling Dee about it the other day, saying <laughs> they were a group of actors getting on the plane, waiting for the plane to be full. And we could go anywhere by this time. Uh, we would be anywhere, but usually first class. And we'd arrive with the set, you know, like a, uh, uh, we'd have lampshades on our head, carrying blinds, plants, <laughs> and our cases, because we, because we were never allowed to check in. That's right. Oh, it was, it was a wonderful time to, to do that. I'm so sad that that all finished. It how was, many yeah. did you do? How many tours did you do, Jeff? I did two. I did. I did one for Derek, and then I did one after he died for his son Piers. Ah. And then when the <clears throat> Gulf War started, he, he pulled out because of the of the troops were all there with Bahrain. Mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, I did Harvey for him, which was lovely. Me oh, and, did you? Me, you know, it was wonderful. Oh, yeah, it was a good fabulous, piece. Yeah. lovely. It He's was honestly, it was, the, it was the best time. And I was also telling uh, Dee the other day as well, that the very best thing about it, I thought, apart from everything else, was the fact we used to get our laundry done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. yes. All that wonderful food. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> All those little laundries. laundries. My clothes I, used to come back. I went back after uh, our play and I said, oh, if I see another lobster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember we did, we did the ultimate, though. We actually went from Muscat, where we finished our tour, and mm. the next gig we had was Billingham. Do you oh, no. <laughs> we, we did, and we oh. just went, oh, my God. Talk about the sub We went from the sublime of 10 miles of golden oh, sea and <laughs> golden beaches and warm sea to the most freezing place in England and I'm not a very particularly pretty theatre and that is the diversity of show business I think. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Yeah, so <laughs> so what are you two guys what are you two guys up to now apart from I know you're doing your pilot soon have you got anything planned or are you just doing you're just sort of getting together what are you doing? Well, we're just waiting for the green light so that the theatres can open yes, again. Yes, I mean, you're supposed yeah. to be doing the rest of the British... With yes, I'm doing a little chat show with... Uh, with uh, Sue uh, Hodge. Sue Hodge and Sally Thompson. Uh, doing Ooh. a little chat show called The Best of British Sitcom. We're just chatting about, you know, what things... Lovely. Do. That's going to be a few dates in August and September. Mm. And where, where is that, Jeff? Where? Around, around the UK, around the, around the <laughs> regions. You know, just a few. In, in theatres, yeah. Theatres, on stage, yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yes. Fingers crossed. But... Well, I think you'll be fine by then, won't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so, do you, have you got, would you like, what would you both like to do together next? If you pardon the expression. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for that question, darling. It's not my I'd kind like of show. To do another tour. I mean, in, yeah. in, yes. in I, I like touring. I mean, I really only like touring with Jeff because yeah, of course, he drives I'll me. Drive. And also, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's more fun if you're it's with, nice to with work somebody. Together. We but, enjoy it, um, yeah. I do enjoy UK touring because. But you have to come up with something and put it forward. That's what everybody has to do now. Mm. Yeah, so I agree. It's very. So, is there is there something for the two of you that would work really well together on a tour? Let's get Let's it out there. there. Let's get it out there. We'll think about it. But listen, guys, it's been, it's been amazing to see. Oh, Judy, my poodle. Oh, so lovely to see you. To see you, and thank you for having me on your show, which I oh, no. a pleasure, oh, no, darling. An honour, darling. Honoured. Honoured. See you soon. Come back and see us again soon. We love you. God bless. God bless. God bless. Bye. What a wonderful couple. And to work together with your partner that you get yes. on with. Yeah. Oh, enjoy. yeah. I've never ever done that. That sounds such fun. Yeah. yeah. I haven't. That's probably because I, I haven't know, got a partner. There is that. <laughs> David, David and I did keeping up appearances together many years ago. On oh, did you get on though, darling? Did you get yeah, on? We, we always actually David and I always uh, got on as well. We did, oh, we did quite a lot of work together to start with. And um, we used mm, to work together yeah. as well producing stuff. So I think there are some relationships, you know, mm. now even now we could still work together. Work yes. Mm. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I knew Jeff in his other life before he met Judy, and mm. and I can't tell you how happy that man is now i mean he uh, i'm not saying he wasn't then but he's yes. a very different man you know what i mean Aww, he's moved on and, 
Yeah. And he obviously I think really, that's what he really, really wants to be with Judy. He yes. doesn't want to work with anybody else. He doesn't want yeah. to go away. If he's yeah. going away, he's taking Judy yeah. with him. And yeah, I was, that is so special. And that yeah. is you know, how you keep a relationship in our business together, isn't it? Oh, it's it's very very difficult. But yeah, you know, what Sherry, was that word? What was that word, Sherry? Re, re, relationship. Re, 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 what was that word? No. Well, I I, 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 mean, I don't know what it means I either. Got one with my two hours. So. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Dee. What were you saying? I was well. You know when you said about the slipper and the rose and Tom Jones and yeah. Pinewood and it. I well, I used to go there. So, you know, it, well, even when I was a kid, I used to go into that restaurant. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And it was so amazing. Well. And that's what the ballroom where I have my event every year. And it's like coming home for me. And yeah. in the old days, because of course all the, the stars now have their caravans and their sushi yeah. chefs and all mm. the rest of it. But in those days you'd walk in and you would be sitting with, you know, icons, you know. And like also Alfa there was Pino just one and... corridor and all the dressing rooms were on one corridor. And that's all exactly. But, but that's right. then, so Tom Jones was in one studio. Slipper in the Rose and the other, and the in yeah. the other studio was Bugsy Malone. There wow. you go, so, you see. Yeah. Amazing. And I used to go in there and watch them as well. So yeah. it was a, it was a... you used to go into Pinewood and, and Pinewood, uh, if you went into the dining room, it's where all the massive stars were, just just sitting there having lunch. Yeah, yeah. well that's we all had a table, you see. Every that film was the had, room. had your table. Yeah. And whatever film you were in, and the carry-ons yeah. would ha always have a table. That yes. was the other end. So, right. and so, and that is where Such Dee a wonderful time. Ball, and that is where Dee will have her ball, hopefully, this year. And this we have year. a Wonder Birds table. Yes. 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 And a Wonder Birds award for the best Yay. whatever. Yes, That's we've got to think about that. I think the Wonder Birds award for the best online show should go to the Wonder Birds. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very yes. good idea. Not that we're biased we'll, at all. We'll invent not our own award. No. no. Not at all. <laughs> So now, uh, I don't even know what day is this, Wednesday? Oh, yes, it's Wednesday. Friday, 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 Friday. Do you know who's coming back to see us on Friday? We are so No, happy. tell us. The wonderful Lee Ridley. I'm a oh, fabulous. So we've got to get our questions ready for Lee, because he's yeah. just fabulous and so funny. And I can't wait to see him. I'm so pleased that he's coming back to join us. It's a year yeah. since we've seen it. It's so very, he's obviously yeah, got lots huge of honor. for us. Mm. Brilliant. Fantastic. Fabulous. Okay, girls. Great. Lots of love, Great. my darling. See, see you Friday. And, 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 and Debbie, and, darling. And, oh. and, 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 and as well. Our show. Yes. Don't forget. 28th of June. Duchess Theatre. Yep. Need okay. the tickets now. And yeah, the nine absolutely. Office, and, there's, and, there's and Debbie, a, darling. A show. Yeah. I just wanted to check. You are still celebrating birthday week, are you not? Of course. I'm Thank not you. so checking. Just checking. Bye. Just checking. Of course. Bye, Before everyone. and after. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 The Amazing Wonderbirds are sponsored by Winesford Stories.